In the Dutch council area of Ada, Kara Energy Systems has constructed an innovative oven for the burning of wood from pruning. The thermic energy that the oven generates is used for heating purposes in a suburb in Ada. In this way, the city provides energy for use within the council boundaries in a sustainable, environmentally friendly and cost-effective way. Kara is a worldwide producer of state-of-the-art energy systems. Just as with every Kara system, this installation has been developed specifically for this project. It's been constructed in harmony with the aim, location and type of biomass, not forgetting the specific wishes of the client. For every solution, Kara makes use of her own product developments, research data, test results and practical experience. Thanks to painstaking preparation, the materials for the installation can be brought together on location, assembled and the installation itself brought online in a relatively short period of time. The installation generates energy from wood that's been pruned. After this has been dumped into the container, it's transported to the roofed storage area. By means of a moving floor, the wood is brought once more into the transport system. This brings the fuel to the supply container at the front of the hearth. From the supply container, a feeder slide pushes the fuel into the hearth. The speed with which the feeder slide is steered forward is dependent on the demand for capacity. The feeder slide and the sealer slide of the supply container are connected to each other so that the system is always securely sealed. The hydraulically driven grate of the hearth is made up of three consecutive zones, the warming zone, the burn zone and the burn out zone. The fuel is transported by the hydraulically driven grate across the three zones. Any wet material is warmed up in the warming zone. The heat-resistant brickwork arch above this zone is heated from above by the smoke gases that leave the hearth in the direction of the boiler. In the burn zone, the fire is fed from below by the primary air from the air feed ventilators. Secondary air is introduced from the side, which sees to it that the fuel burns optimally. The amount of secondary air fed is dependent on the oxygen content in the hearth, which is constantly measured. The smoke gases that leave the hearth reach the boiler that's connected to the burn pipe. This boiler is a heat exchange that's fitted with flame pipes. In order to achieve the maximum efficiency from the generated heat, the heated smoke gases pass three times through the flame pipes, and in this way heat the water in the boiler. The smoke gases leave the boiler by means of a PA cyclone filter, and because of the centrifugal force, the dust particles are separated from the smoke gases. After this first phase of filtering, the smoke gases proceed through the Kara electrostatic filter. Here the dust particles become electrically charged, after which they remain stuck to the filter's negative plate. When the negative plates are cleaned, the dust particles fall into the collecting funnel underneath the filter. Finally, the clean smoke gases pass through the economizer once again. In this machine, the gases are cooled to a temperature just above the dew point. Lastly, the clean gases pass through the chimney pipe into the atmosphere. The installation has two systems for the disposal of ash. One under the cyclone filter, known as the Kara electrostatic filter and the economizer, and one under the hearth. Both systems transport the ash to the ash container. As well as the wood-fueled hearth, the installation in Ada has two gas-fired boilers. At peak times, these boilers can deliver extra energy and they serve as backup, for example, during periods when the wood fuel boiler is under maintenance. In order to supply heating at peak times to the city, the system has been equipped with a buffer of 150 cubic meters of warm water. This buffer is replenished during off-peak times. The system can deliver a total of 535 cubic meters of warm water per hour. That's 153 liters per second. The warm water is pumped to the city at a temperature of 105 degrees Celsius, the wood fueled boiler being the primary supplier. Should the city require more heat than the wood fueled boiler can deliver, the warm water is supplied from the buffer. If more capacity is required, then one or two gas fired boilers are automatically connected. Kara Energy Systems, 
professionals in energy.